Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldrich. It's the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. Heat off the tip. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Dragic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. Winslow is out there with Johnson. And it's Whiteside in at the pivot, manning the middle. Four on the clock. The 11-footer. And that one goes long. And probably the one constant of this Miami team the last few years it has been their defense. They do a great job of making life difficult for opposing shooters. And it's been anchored by one of the best shot blockers in the game with Whiteside. Over to the wing. Waiters outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. And the Miami defense is more than just white side blocking shots, as you might say. Greg, they do a great job of limiting opponents' threes. Yeah, they challenge the three ball as well as anybody. Both contest the shot and close out to deny the attempt from even being taken. This roster does a great job of taking away space from shooters. Here's Dragic after J.J. Reddick's bucket. Dragic dishes to Johnson. Shoots the three. Offensive rebound, Heat. Right side, the pass to Waiters. They grab their own miss. Here's Whiteside. And the jam by Whiteside. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. Guys, that's the only way he knows how to do it. Soft. I don't even think is in his vocabulary. Yeah, heard the. Here we are, Clark. Opening night. It's officially upon us. I, I know you think it's important to get off to a good start, don't you? I really do, Kevin. It's better than getting off to a poor start because the season is so long. You've got time to overcome either one, but it's always best to get off to a nice start. It gives you confidence and gives you momentum that you can build on. Kept the lights. White side defensive rebounding just such a crucial part of the game yeah it's finishing your defense Greg we know that you can defend then you got to rebound the miss and you got to get to the glass with intensity knocked away shots good by waiters waiters got seven and really it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range Here's Dragic after the miss from Joel Embiid. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Redick inside the line. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Waiters with the ball. Now guarded by Fultz. It's two on one. Reddick with the three. Reddick can't get that one to fall. But he leading by three. They find Jay on the way. And he knocks down the jumper. And that's now nine points for Dion Waiters. Oh, great awareness. No reason to take it inside there against the taller man. Yeah, he knew he had him beat, Greg. I mean, that was clear. Took advantage of the space he had. Wow. A lot of losing in Philadelphia. Just 47 wins over three seasons from 2013 to 2016. That's the second worst three-year stretch in NBA history. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Here's Johnson, launches it, and Robert Covington gets the three. Covington's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. 
And Clark, for the Sixers, it seems they're finally headed in the right direction. Well, I think that's the benefit of patience and all of those high draft picks, Kevin. I mean, some people don't like how they did it, but they rebuilt the roster from the ground up, and I think it gives them a strong foundation going forward. Here's Stauskas. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start, finding a rhythm right now. Now the pass to Covington. Holmes, that's a screen. There's the three. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Goes back up. And that one is off. Good D by Johnson. The Heat trailed by five. Here's White. And White with the stuff. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, guys, Miami's Eric Spolster is known for his focus and his devotion to work. How does he stay centered? Yoga. He said, I like it because you have to keep your eyes on your own mat. If you're not focused on the spot in front of you, you'll fall over. Kevin, that mindfulness translates across the board. Mindfulness, that's an interesting way to look at things, D.A. Spo is a great, great communicator. Knows how to certainly get through to his team. The Heat trail by three. Here's Waiters. Good, it's Johnson with the assist that time. Waiters has got 11. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Winslow kicks to Dragic. Second shot opportunity. And it's laid in by Whiteside. He's got six. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Heat. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And it doesn't look like they'll be giving up on any plays tonight either. Their offensive pick it the other way. Anderson outside. Passes it to Korkmaz. From the stripe. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Korkmaz has got his first basket of the night. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Waiters again. Sanderson. Shots good by Waiters. Waiters got four points in the quarter. And they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe here tonight, guys. This, this thing's like a heavyweight fight. Yeah, these teams evenly match, Greg, trading hits and refusing to give up any advantage. Anderson outside. Shoots over Winslow. And that one comes up a bit short. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Heat out front, leading by a point. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K. For Miami, look at who they've got out there. Waiters and Winslow are the wings. Johnson is out there with right side, and it's Dragic in the one. Neither side has relented a bit in this back-and-forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Waiters with the ball. Now guarded by Reddick. Pocket six. Bangs home the trifecta. Dragic has got five points so far. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Stolen by Waiters. In transition, here comes Miami. So the whistle blows on the shot. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. 
It's good. And the Heat lead by three. Hey, you've got to give Brett Brown, I think, just a ton of credit for holding the Sixers locker room together over the years. Brutally difficult to lose and keep fighting and playing hard and playing together. He's created, along with those players, a culture of hard work. Man, I don't think there's any question about that, Kevin. He knew it was going to be a tall task, actually taller than any of us could articulate. He stayed optimistic and realistic at the same time, demanding yet being patient, keeping his team focused the right way and on the right thing. It's really an outstanding for T.J. McConnell. The 76ers trailed by five. And that one's good. Quick miles. He'd have gone a somewhat so far 4-10 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Back to Johnson. He kicks to Ellington. Fires the three. Good on the three-point shot. And the Heat lead by five. Okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Yeah, and I like it. I love seeing that. It's a lot of fun when that happens. These teams are going at each other from the outside. And he could not get that one to go. Them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And we've watched three so far in this one. Go team, and that's why they're ahead. Launches a three. Hits the three-point five. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. You know, Greg, I think that might have been intentional. It perhaps was not an accident because he's typically not the guy that's taking that shot at this stage of the game. It's stolen by Fultz. Here's Luwawu. Rips down the breakaway slam. And guys got careless with the ball there and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. Here's Simmons. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Heat with the lead. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. There's Dragic with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Dragic has got five points now in the quarter. Philadelphia's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Out left to the wing. Another three for Philadelphia. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. Uh, yeah, that's a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. A shot by Ellington, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Simmons. It's good. This game is all even. A good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Luwawu Cabarro. James Johnson checked in for Miami. Waiters comes in for Wayne Ellington. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's recording from the sidelines. Well, during that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. He by and B. One fifty-eight left in the fourth quarter. Screen by charge. And the shot goes in from Fultz. Now it's a three-point 76ers lead. And so far, this has got that feel of a game that could be back and forth all the way. Afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Charge just went on Dragic. Fultz gets to Charge. And the layup's good off the glass. Charge has got the lead up to five now for the 76ers. Rogic dishes to Waiters. And a 
again, it's the Heat missing. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Here's Embiid. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good, and that... Their lead to six.